everybody. Welcome back to my garden. It's been a while since I've had you in here, since I've taped any segments in here. And you can tell if you saw the last time we were in here for this show, uh, things have grown a lot more. And today we're going to be talking about what happens to the cooler weather crops, the ones that like the weather cool, not such hot weather, what happens to them when the temperatures rise. So in the heat, veggies like zucchini, cucumbers, peppers, pumpkins, squash, they love hot weather. But plants such as lettuce, bok choy, even broccoli and spinach, they don't like the heat at all. And in the hot weather, they can suddenly bolt up. And that means that they suddenly go to seed because they're stressed out by the heat and the leaves will start to taste bitter and the stems will be woody and nasty and they're really not very good to eat. It's kind of a bummer because I love having greens in the garden. The, the bed to my left here is full of just greens that I keep replanting all summer. But the great thing about the fact that you do uh, lose the crops that like the cold weather in the heat is that you can plant them again towards the end of the summer as seeds and then they'll come up and be, you'll be able to have a late summer or early fall harvest. So anyway, in addition to talking about what to do when you are cool, whether veggies start to bolt, we're going to have a little recipe on how you can use some of those greens to make a really, really yummy, fresh, fresh garden omelet. So stay tuned for that. But before we get started, I want to show you this. Remember a couple of weeks ago, we did a segment in the, uh, I was here, there with Jess in studio and we did a segment on how to preserve peonies buds to bloom later in summer. This is my favorite one. I mentioned it that day and it looks like pink frosting. I just want to eat it. it. Smells good, probably doesn't taste good. But when we shot that uh, segment, these weren't up yet, but aren't they just so beautiful? I just had to share it. So let's talk about what to do when your veggies start to bolt. Let's go over and look at the spinach. Spinach is really great for you. It has antioxidants. It has great iron in it. There's calcium, there's water, there's fiber. It's just a really good uh, nutritious food and you can add it to omelets like I'm going to be doing in a little bit, but you can see that these are getting really tall and that means they're starting to bolt and the leaves on the outside that you eat are not going to taste very good. They'll start to get bitter and the stems will get really, really, really woody. This also happens to cilantro. These are my beautiful cilantro plants. Bok choy, definitely not. I'm gonna to have to be pulling all of that up. And my lettuces, especially arugula, uh, they start bolting and get really, really, really bitter. I kind of like it bitter, but not a lot of people do. So I'm going to be taking out the spinach from the garden and you can see, I'm just gonna rip them out like this, pull them out because they're easy to bring out. Some people like to cut them off at the bottom, but I'm going to be ripping them out. And eventually I'll be planting something different here, maybe peppers, some sort of warm weather crops, maybe a couple tomatoes or something like that. Haven't decided yet. Now that I've shown you my bolting vegetables, let's go pick some of them so we can go make an omelet. Okay, the veg, the greens I chose for this omelet are kale, chard, spinach, some dill, and fresh green onions. This recipe is for a three egg omelet. I'm going to saute the greens first in a little olive oil, but you do not have to do that. You can just throw them in fresh if you want to. So I'm gonna saute the greens after I chop them up. Then I take the three eggs and beat them with a little bit of milk, pour them in, watch it cook, sprinkle the cheese on top, and voila, you have a wonderful cheese omelet with fresh greens to have in springtime. And it looks like Ruby and Jeb would like a bite too. Thanks so much for joining me in the garden. Next week, we're going to be talking about how to get rid of creeping Charlie. And I also want you to know that those dogs uh, that were so close to that omelet, uh, we did not end up eating that omelet because they started to drool on it too much, but aren't they cute? That's Jeb and Ruby. So thank you and we'll see you next time in the Groovy Garden. Have a great day. Well, still ahead this hour, a popular 90s movie is getting a long overdue sequel and Manterville Theater draws back the curtain for the summer of performance art. We'll get into that later on this hour.